Hey there. Um, right now I'm going to be talking about uh, like love and how important it is for basically all of this because love is everything. Like love is what binds um, everything to you know uh, whatever else. Like it's like a you know I shouldn't say binding. That's a strong word. Something like you know it uh, fixates on that. Where it's like you know it's a symbiotic beneficial relationship for both. Or it can be stru- destructive. Like if you love drinking poison, or if you love death. You know, like good luck with that lifestyle. Um, you know, that's why for me, like I love life. I love love. You know, like true healthy love that binds societies into a peaceful community. That binds. Um, you know, like all these things that binds me. Like helps me recognize the truth and see it for what it is, and, you know, the love I have for myself, and the people that are important to me, wanting them to be happy and healthy, too, and, you know, like, all these things, you know, being, like, my love for animals, and, you know, like, you know, once again, life in this planet, this beautiful, beautiful planet, you know, the oceans, and the mountains, and all this stuff, so, yeah, I was going to be focusing on the types of love, and how important it is to really embrace love for yourself, and for your community, and, uh, you know, like pe- you want people to be happy and healthy because, you know, whether you want to admit it or not, like, we're all part of this, you know, this cl- almost, cl- like, I shouldn't say it's closed, but it's quite closed ecosystem as far as planet Earth. Like, yeah, we can still spew bad shit out into, into outer space and bring good stuff in from outer space or whatever, but for the most part, and we can, of course, transmute and change the things that we have with us now that are either, you know, good or bad, depending on what we want to do with it. You know, that's why mankind's being really stupid right now, turning all this good stuff into bad stuff. Like, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, so love. Love is the shit. Love, you know, healthy love, you know, is, you know, based on freedom and choice and truth and understanding and, you know, wisdom and courage. This is a good, healthy love, not love for, you know, doing fucked up shit that, you know, most people should be able to recognize is wrong, considering it, you know, it's usually anti-freedom, anti-truth, anti, uh, you know, health, you know, like, all this stuff. The universe isn't some hostile, fucked up, banged up place that wants their all life on it to just die. No, it does have, you know, natural law consequences for, uh, you know, shit happening. Of course, there's always, you know, quote-unquote accidents where, you know, meteors can hit or, uh, you know, viruses can wipe out millions or billions even, whatever, depending on how strong it is. But at the end of the day, though, it's about, you know, like, you know, how love is so powerful is because, once again, the universe is mental. The all is mind, okay? So, and the, and the all, or and all, or the all is within all, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, I'm not saying, like, everything's everything, but uh, I guess in a way you can see it as that, but it's also a paradox, too. It's like a, the divine paradox. Now we'll get into that here. You know, once again, uh, the eight different type. Well, <laughs> going back into love, I'll cover right now the sort of eight different types of love according to the ancient Greeks. Uh, these guys had it kind of interesting. Uh, one, or else be going off an article here, and you know, uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, you know, I'm gonna mix it up here a little bit. Uh, philia, you know, was one of the Greek words. It's basically affectionate love. Essentially, it's basically you know. Um, like friendship, you know, you know, love for, you know, things that, you know, you know, friends that, you know, you connect with, and so, yeah, I'm gonna go through this pretty quick, I don't want to, you know, really dive into all this too deep, um, familial love is called storage, storage, S-T-O-R-G-E, I can be pronouncing these wrong too, um, it's basically love without physical attraction, you know, kinship and familiarity, so, you know, this is once again, you know, a healthy love for, like, you know, children or, you know, animals. You know, it comes down to just, you know, like the way I'd have a love for meeting some big, ugly alien that was super friendly and nice, you know, like, or, you know, love for, like, a Hagrid Ted character off of Harry Potter where, yeah, I don't want to fuck these things, obviously not, but I'd want to, you know, be friends with them, hang out with them. That's cool. Like, why, you know, like, do work with them, you know, get things done with them, learn things with them and from them, too, like, work together to build ourselves up, that's awesome. Um, another one here is, uh, eros, or the erotic love, you know, this is, you know, of course, the love for, like, uh, the Greek, uh, it comes from the Greek god of love and fertility, apparently, uh, you know, this makes sense, uh, for that multiple times, but yeah, like, erotic love, so, you know, that's that basic, you know, get her done so we can breed kind of love. 
but it's not the like long lasting, you know what I mean? That's where other types of love come in that bind, you know, healthy relationships together where, you know, you got people that stay together for years, decades, lifetimes because they have a nice, strong, healthy love for each other and themselves because they know who they are and what they want and they decided to do that. So, yeah, another one is ludus or uh, playful love. Um, yeah, this is sort of like the whole, um, this sort of comes out in things like uh, flirting and teasing. Uh, you know, kind of like a childish kind of love. Um, yeah, so, once again, like, I know these kind of bleed into each other, too, like, but for the most part, you can have, like, you know, I have love for my friends that, you know, I have absolutely no desire to have sex with them or kiss them or anything like that, but I have a desire to, you know, hang out with them, talk to them about things that I find interesting, and, you know, same with, you know what I mean? So it's just about different types of love. Um, another one is uh, pragma or enduring love. This is probably what I was meant earlier as far as the whole, um, you know, the binding love that keeps relationships uh, going for a long period of time because it's just that enduring uh, love that, you know, but obviously, you know, on this planet it's probably uh, hard to find because it's been so corrupted and banged up and shit. Uh, okay, there's also a mania or obsessive love. Uh, this can lead into a type of madness or obsessiveness. Uh, it basically is like a sort of imbalance, I think. So, yeah, like even the different types of love, they can become kind of unhealthy loves too. Like I said before, where, you know, you can love death. Like, good luck with that lifestyle. Like, I recognize death and I see it for what it is. It's just a phase change. But at the end of the day, it's, um, it's not like a fucking good thing to just always be focusing on death. Like, <laughs> yeah, no wonder why these death cults sacrifice their own members and kill themselves off with their, you know, their fucked up lifestyles. Like, oh yeah, just chopping body parts off. Like, yeah. Um, it's fucked. But yeah, um, another one is, uh, phil philaturia. Phil philaturia. I probably pronounced this horribly, but that's basically, uh, self-love. Um, yeah, like, self-love is very important because, you know, if I didn't love myself, and for a while there I really didn't because I was just so, uh, disgusted with the world, I thought, you know, just kind of appealed to futility kind of thing, which is really stupid, but that's what I kind of did, and then, you know, self-destructive behavior, of course, but if you don't have self-love, you're basically just going to be, you know, destroying yourself and destroying the world around you, and that's why we have the world today that it's in, because people have been convinced to not love themselves enough, and, you know, like obviously that's changing, and, and it's changed where people are waking up to love and, you know, the truth and all this stuff, and realizing that, you know, we don't all have to be sick and diseased and with short lifespan and always confused and with, you know, all these different uh, disorders, both mental, you know, like, basically it all comes down to, like, spiritual disease, you know, like, you know, for me, spirituality and spirit is just basically, uh, you know, consciousness, like, you know, consciousness, you know, spirit, the, the life force behind everything, you know, the spirit behind this, you know, like, it's interesting how that works, so, um, yeah, like, if, like, self-love is, you know, love for yourself that causes you to, you know, avoid pain and avoid suffering and move towards things that benefit you, benefit, uh, you know, how, you know, of course, if it benefits you in a healthy way, and you're not some, you know, mentally ill person who thinks that, you know, somehow health is being ignorant and confused and, and, you know, self-mutilating and self-destroying with all these bad habits or whatever, then, yeah, like, it's, so I got off track there, I'm trying to mess with my cord here a bit, um, but, yeah, like, it's just, going back to self-love, uh, we can't be constantly thinking that, you know, not having love for yourself isn't very, you know, isn't necessary or whatever, it results in apathy and, you know, nihilism, essentially, almost, I think, so, yeah, um, I think the last one here, I, I should, I think that's more about self-love, uh, enduring love, yeah, I haven't covered that one, obsessive love, that was really quick, obsessive love, yeah, that's quite interesting, that one, uh, playful love, yeah, familial love, but yeah, like, I think this is kind of complicated as far as the different types of love that the Greeks did, you can kind of, you know, break it down into, you know, probably a few, like, smaller ones, I think, without an initial move, the mental, or the imbalance ones, like, sort of, recognize, oh, you can to remove them, but recognize them for that, you know, if there's an imbalance between certain ones, you can get, you know, the, the fucked up shit happen in your life, 
But yeah, um, so selfless love, agape, or agape, or agape, A-G-A-P-E, um, basically, according to them, the highest, most radical type of love. Um, yeah, like a selfless, unconditional love. You know, this kind of love was displayed in certain figures throughout, uh, you know, folklore, and, you know, that some people think is actually real, because they've been so conditioned by, you know, centuries of bullshit to believe this stuff. But, yeah, like, it comes down to, uh, you know, even, like, heroes kind of show this uh, selfless love. Like, you know, the, the mythical, you know, the hero figures show this kind of love. And other figures, too, you know, the compassionate caregiver, like, all these different, uh, oh, Frag, what's the word? It starts with an H. <laughs> oh, man. Brutal brain fart. Um, yeah, like different uh, uh, figureheads or types or whatever that people sort of clean, you know, like that compassionate caregiver or the, there's all different kinds. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the goddamn word. That pisses me off. I've heard it so many times, too. Um, yeah, like, you know, like the hero figure, you know, the knight in shining armor showing up to save the day. And, you know, like, and then there's all different types, like the, like the weak confused, lost person, the fool, all the different types of, um, oh, man, but yeah, like, it's, um, uh, people, like, anyways, go back to the whole, like, you know, the people, uh, the types of, um, you know, most people that want to be, like, a good person try to, are drawn towards these types of, um, ways of thinking and being represented in certain, uh, by certain characters in movies and video games and stuff like that, and books, of course, obviously, books are just a great one, I, I put books above everything else, like, people like movies and documentaries and all that shit, I like books, books are ten times better than anything I can fucking watch, because, um, unless it's, like, really good, like, you know, m like, hours and hours and hours of work put into making a film, that'd be, you know, that's great, too, some people do do that, but generally, if you want to know something, good luck having, you know, like, you can get a good start, for sure, watching a good documentary that'll get you introduced to the topic, and depending on how complex the topic is too, but I'm going off on a tangent here, but anyways, uh, you know, people are drawn to the, you know, the hero type figure, the compassionate caregiver, the selfless lover who's able to put themselves kind of on the line sometimes, and of course they're also, they have enough self-love and self-respect and all that to be able to realize when to, you know, live to fight another day or not be a stupid risk taker that's just going to put themselves in danger more likely and probably, you know, get themselves killed and, and put, uh, cause other people to have to put themselves in danger to save their ass too. So, you know, it's about being able to, uh, you know, be reasonable and logical and have sense and like have a, a full and, uh, you know, healthy mind based on, like, you know, the left and right brain. So you're able to fully use the, uh, gauge the situation you're in correctly and make the right decisions based on that, not just be some, you know, dumb fuck who's read too many uh, superhero comics and watched a few too many, you know, uh, you know, good versus evil movies and wants to sort of save the day and has no training, has no idea what he's doing or she's doing, and next thing you know they're fucking dead or maimed because they think that they could somehow just have a positive attitude and save the day. Like, yeah, of course, depending on your situation, you know, you could obviously save the day, but, you know, good luck saving somebody who's, you know, just chugged, you know, fucking a bunch of, you know, poison and has been in their system for a couple hours now. Like, yeah, you can do things, but, like, what are you going to do as a hero? You're going to, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of a bad example, but, you know what I mean? This stuff isn't that hard. So, yeah, but I'm going off, hand, uh, off uh, topic again, but, uh, yeah, like, people are always drawn to these people that have love. You know, love that, you know, love for themselves, love for the environment, love for, uh, you know, like a healthy friendship love for, you know, animals and children and other humans that, um, you know, are, you know, healthy and want them to be free too and work in a community more or less that is able to support life for, you know, all, all life, you know, animals, the environment, and uh, humans. So, like, yeah. Love is amazing. Uh, hopefully this is sort of, you know, really going to help clarify some things as far as, uh, you know, how great and amazing love is and how necessary a piece of it is. Like, this is, like, all this comes back to love, essentially. Like, the rest of this playlist will be about how important the solution is and how it ties back to love. Love for the truth, 
love for freedom, love for health, love for, you know, your, uh, yourself, love for your community and friends and family, and love for uh, your global community, too. Like, we're all in this together. Uh, you know, we're not going to be able to somehow avoid uh, the whole uh, uniting of mankind, well, not uniting of mankind, but the uh, communication that lots of people have together as far as the internet goes now. Like, the internet can be used to save the day, or it can be used to restrict and control us, and then it just fucks us over. Like, luckily it's still free, in most parts of the world at least, I think. I know some parts are more restricted than others, which is really sad. Uh, but, yeah, it's amazing. So we can't just, uh, you know, be ignoring love. And, yeah, once again, this playlist will go back to, you know, solutions and how love plays into it, you know. It just, yeah, I could extrapolate on this all day, but I won't. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Comment, like, and subscribe if you want. Uh, peace.